People often ask us, what is so special about TSW? Why choose TSW? Why do installers love to sell TSW wheels? So let's take a look at this wheel, the TSW Arama. We'll look at a couple of things to show the difference between TSW and many other wheels. If we start with the lip, what TSW does is it uses a mirror cut lip as opposed to a normal machine cut lip. That's why the TSW lips are so shiny. And what that entails is using a special diamond and a high speed lathe to get that extra special shiny lip. It's a lot more difficult to do, it costs more money, but it does make a difference. What we also do is we make sure we machine right down to the bottom of the lip. So you get some separation between the center of the wheel and the outside lip. On nearly all of our TSW wheels, we're using metal rivets. What most companies are doing is using plastic rivets. There's obviously a big difference between a metal rivet and a plastic rivet. Very importantly, the metal rivet looks a, a lot better than a plastic rivet. It won't fade and it will not come out of the wheel. The next thing we look at is the caps. TSW uses an extra thick emblem. The advantage of this is, first of all, the emblem will not warp and also the color will not fade, but it gives a much better quality feel on the wheel. All right, let's take a look at this TSW Snatterton. What we want to point out is on the back of a wheel, you have what is called the center ball. Every single TSW wheel is hub-centric. We use a special metal centering ring to make sure the wheel is hub-centric. If the wheel is not hub-centric, you are going to get vibration. I would not advise buying any wheel that is not hub-centric. The other thing we'll look at is on a wheel, you have what's called radial and lateral runout. This is your radial runout. This is how much the wheel will run out radially. If you look at this way, you've got lateral runout. TSW's tolerances for radial and lateral runout are nearly half the industry average. And we test every single wheel 100% to make sure that we're within tolerance of the runout. We also do 100% balance test on every single wheel that we produce. What this means is that when the wheel is on your car, you're not going to get that vibration in your steering wheel and your wheels will be running true. The other thing, looking at the top of the wheel here, is with air sensors today, the wheels need to be made to be what's often referred to as TPMS compatible, Tire Pressure Monitoring System compatible. All the original equipment air sensors will work on the TSW wheels. This is a very important feature of a wheel. Okay, the next wheel we're looking at is the TSW Trackstar. This is an extremely lightweight wheel. It was designed for smaller vehicles to be lightweight. And the, a very important thing when looking at lightweight wheels is to check the load rating. It's very easy to make a lightweight wheel, but it's not very easy to make a lightweight wheel that has the load rating for your vehicle. This is extremely important. Every single TSW wheel has the load rating in the back of the wheel and the load ratings are made to meet the requirements of the vehicle which the wheels will go on. The next big thing with TSW is TSW makes the correct fitments for the vehicle. This is crucial when putting wheels in your vehicle. And today most vehicles to be done correctly require a staggered fitment. Staggered fitment means you're running a wider wheel on the back and a narrow wheel on the front. There is no company in the world that makes more one-piece staggered fitments than TSW. Taken as an example, this is the Yorama. This wheel is made in an 18 by 8 and an 18 by 9 and a half. It's also made in a 19 by 8 and a 19 by 9 and a half. It's also made in a 20 by 8 and a half and a 20 by 10 and so on. The difference is you, that allows you to get the perfect fitment for your vehicle. So whether it's a 3 series that you want to put a 19 inch on, or whether it's a S-Class that you want to put a staggered 20 inch setup, the wheels are going to fit perfectly on your vehicle. The other aspect about that is you must have the correct offset for your vehicle. The correct offset may be 5 millimeters apart from what others are doing. For instance, if you take the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class, it requires a slightly higher offset than the old C-Class. Many companies will compromise and they'll find an, an offset that is somewhere in between. We created the correct offset for the new C-Class. The difference is about 5 millimeters, say, and it's about that much. It seems like nothing, but to us it does matter. That means the wheels will, number one, not rub on your fender, and number two, not hit your brakes, 
And then also you will not get any steering inputs by running the wrong offset on your, on your vehicle. If you run too low an offset, you're going to get what's called bump steer. And your wheels will, will drift when you, when, you, when you hit a bump, or your steering will drift when you hit a bump. So it is absolutely crucial that you have the correct offset. TSW goes the extra mile and builds that correct offset for your vehicle. These are just a few of the things that you need to ask when buying a wheel. And these are some of the things that set TSW apart. If you want more information on the product, we suggest you go to our website, tsw.com. Thanks again and happy driving.